Hello friends, today it is time to put into practice some of the information we taught you in our last video. Our table was like this. If you have not watched the previous video, I recommend you to watch that video from the top right. Today we will do steps 1, 2 and 3 with you. I will show on two APK for you. One is a Unity APK with security, the other is a Unity APK without security. We will extract their dump files. Don't worry, I will explain how you can do it both on the computer and on the phone. First we need to parse our APK. We will use APK Easy Tool for this. I will explain the phone part in a moment. APK Easy Tool is an application that allows you to parse and combine APKs. All we have to do is select our APK and wait for it to parse. First, let's put our game with weak security. Now all we have to do is wait for the APK to decompile and then I will give you important information. Let's open the logs section from here and see the progress. First of all, you cannot mod every game, forget about that. But if you use both modding and Game Guardian at the same time, you can do something in most games. In this video, I will explain how you can get the source files of the game, namely the dump file. In this video, we will do it for both protected and unprotected LIAP. Actually, games are divided into four types in this regard, but 90% of them will be like this. You need to understand these places well because you need to know these places to use Game Guardian. Please feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Videos will arrive early or late depending on the interaction. Thanks to everyone who supports. Meanwhile, our APK has already been decompiled. Here we have the Android manifest, lib file and assets that we will generally use. Our Android manifest file usually contains the version of your application, its version and the processes it uses. Even though we do not use it much, this file will be needed for the skip update method. Now the most important part is to enter the lib file. If you watched the previous video, you know what the things here mean. V8A represents 64 bits and V7A represents 32 bits. You don't need to know the bottom file. We will use these two. Let's dig into the file a little. Here we have a bunch of 32 bit lib files. In general, we will use libunity with libl2cpp. Libl2cpp contains values found in the game, such as gold or attack speed. Libunity, on the other hand, includes more basic things such as machine speed, game operating dynamics. It will be these types of binary files that we will change. Don't let it seem like it's confusing you. I'll explain it later. Let's close it for now. The time will come for this too. Now, let's decompile our other APK to tell you the difference between them. Remember, the other APK is an APK with protection. While this is happening, let me give you some more information. The logic of what we will do is, first of all, we will create the dump file. We will search for the values we want in the dump file. We will copy the offsets of the values we found. We will search for these offsets in libel2cpp and replace them with the ones we want. We will also need the metadata here to create the dump file in the unprotected APK. It is actually the decoder version of the metadata libel2cpp file. In other words, the metadata can make sense of the complex numbers in the libel2cpp file, so we use it. Let me prepare these slowly. This is the metadata of the unprotected APK. Let's put this on the desktop. This has already parsed the other APK, we can close it. Let's put our global metadata like this. Now the other thing we need is the libel2cpp file. Let's get that too. What we should not forget is to use the libs of whatever bit we want to mod. You can obtain dump files of APKs by using the dumpers I will put in the description section. But keep listening carefully. Now I will tell you about the emulator because the emulator makes all the work much easier. You can do what I did on the emulator on a rooted phone. Yes, we logged into our emulator. My suggestion is to use the modded LD player, but you can turn on the root setting and use it directly. You can install MT Manager on your phone in the same way and follow the same steps. Now I'm putting these APKs into the emulator file. You can also do it with one of the buttons on the right. Our APKs are here. As I said, you can also mix and check your APK files thoroughly from MT Manager. This is the best software I recommend to you. As I said, it is the same as the decompli process in the APK Easy tool. My advice is to use MT Manager. Let's check this APK thoroughly. Let's look at the lib folder to see if everything is correct. Now we can slowly move on to creating the dump file. You can reach these two dumpers 
from the files I put in the description or by searching the internet yourself. Our auto dumper works in almost all protected and unprotected games, but the flat one only works on unprotected ones. That's why I recommend you always use auto dumper. Yes, all we need to do is add the metadata and libel 2CPP into it. Now we can open our dumper. The only thing it wants from us here is to first select our libel file and then our meta file. After waiting for a while, dumper will decode the files and create the dump.cs file. Of course, it will also create DLL files. And yes, the process is done. Let's check it out. You can find DLL files in our dummy DLL file. This has the same function as the dump file. There is no difference. Let's take a look at our dump file. And yes, finally, welcome to the open files and offsets of our game where you can search and find the value you want. Of course, some producers will have already hidden the values. Our aim will be to mod it using the offsets here, namely RVAs. Let's search for random values. Maybe we'll find something. But the other dumper will be much more important than this one. So let's delete these files and move on to the next one. Generally, every game already has expressions such as coin and gold. We can mod the games by using them. Let's move on to the next one. Let's delete these. Now let me tell you why I said protected. In the previous game, I threw my libel file and metadata file into my dumper and it quickly solved these two and created the dump file for me. Now let's try the same process in a protected APK. My global metadata is here. Now let me quickly find my libel file and send it to it. Here again I will take from the bit file I want to use. And yes, they are both in my dump file. Let's start the process. First I will select my libel file and then my metadata. And yes, since our APK was protected, our dumper was helpless and could not perform the operation. But of course there is a solution to this too. I will use LD Player again for operations because it is much easier. Please remember that I am doing these operations for educational purposes only and you take full responsibility. The logic of using the other dumper will be slightly different. From the lib section we enter the lib whose dump we want. First, let's make sure we upload our dumper to LD Player. As I said, links will be in the description. This is our dumper. It actually consists of two parts but we will only use the fake lib one. Let's go back to LD Player. Simply what we will do. We will change the name of the libunity file in the game file and put the libunity file of our dumper into it, nothing else. It is very easy to open both Windows places in Empty Manager. We will change the name of the libunity file here to LibreLunity. Let me go back and come back from the beginning so you don't get confused. The files you upload from the computer in LD Player will appear in the pictures. I'm going to my libs again. Now let's do what I said. We will name the original file as LibreLunity. Then I will paste the lib in my dumper into my game file. Oh, sorry, I wrote it wrong. By the way, it is important for you to sign the application in most applications. I will explain this later. And now let's put the file into the original file in the dumper. The logic of this is to enable the fibers to trick the game and create their own dumper. And yes, the process is over. Now all we have to do is open the game. In this way, the game will create its own dump file. After doing this, let's download the game now. Let me warn you one last time. I have no interest or aggression in these games. They are just for educational purposes and do not forget that the responsibility is on you. So don't make or sell anything illegal. Yes, the game has downloaded. Now let's run the game. It may fail once. Keep trying. Let's try again. Even if the game gives a Leap error, it doesn't matter. If the game is opened, it means our dump file has been created. You can find the dump file in the second application directory by clicking on the app from MT Manager. Let's export this dump file now. 
And yes, as you can see, our dump file has arrived on the desktop. This is a much faster and more logical way for protected and unprotected APKs. There is no need to confuse these any further now. If you want to continue, do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and write a comment. Take care of yourself.